This is part 1 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss setting up the development environment by installing the tools required for Angular 6 development and then we'll create a new Angular 6 project using Angular CLI. Now let's look at the prerequisites to get the most out of this course. Angular Basics and Angular CLI. You don't have to be an expert but a basic knowledge will be helpful. To get up to speed with Angular, please check out our Angular 2 and Angular CRUD courses. To learn Angular CLI, please check out this Angular CLI course. I'll have all these course links available in the description of this video. Now let's look at the software requirements for setting up Angular 6 development environment. You need Node 8.x or later and NPM 5.x or later. To verify the version of Node you have on your machine, execute this command on the command prompt and make sure you are running command prompt as an administrator. And the command to verify the version of Node you have is this Node-V. To verify the version of NPM you have, use NPM-V. As you can see, I have the required versions of Node and NPM on my machine. If you don't on your machine, then download the installer for your operating system from this URL and then follow the on-screen instructions. It's going to install the required versions for both Node and NPM. Next, install Angular CLI. It's a command line tool that helps us create Angular applications quickly and easily while still following Angular's best practices and conventions. It's a great tool to increase your productivity as an Angular developer. For Angular 6 development, we need Angular CLI 6 or later. If you are installing Angular CLI for the first time, then execute this first command npm install hyphen g at angular for slash cli. It automatically installs the latest version. On the other hand, if you already have Angular CLI installed on your machine and you want to upgrade it to Angular CLI 6 or later, then execute this second command. This command is very similar to the first command. The only difference is in the end we have included at latest. On my machine, I have already upgraded to the latest version of Angular CLI. To verify the version of Angular CLI, use this command ng-v. Notice on my machine, I have 6.1.2. We'll be using Visual Studio Code as the editor for this course. If you don't have it, please download and install from this URL. With this, we have our Angular 6 development environment ready. Now let's create a new Angular 6 project using the Angular CLI. Here is the command ng for Angular CLI itself, new for generating a new Angular project and then the name of the project. I named it Angular 6 project but you can name it anything you want. This dash d is tried on flag. This flag instructs Angular CLI just to list the files it's going to create. It does not actually create them. This is a great option because it lets us see what files will be generated without actually creating them. These are the files that will be generated as part of this new Angular 6 project. Because we have used the dried on flag, Angular CLI didn't actually create them. It is just listing these files so we know what files will be created as part of this project. In our case, we don't want the spec file for our app component. Spec files are for unit testing. We'll discuss unit testing later. To skip generating spec files, use dash dash skip tests option. Notice at the moment we are not using the dry run option. So when we execute this command, it will physically create the Angular project and the required files. There we go. Our Angular project is created successfully. Now to run this project, go to the project folder and execute this command ng serve dash dash open. We can also use its shortcut s for serve and dash o for open. There we go. We have a working Angular 6 project. Now notice this message welcome to Angular 6 project. This message is coming from our root component app component. Now let's open this project in Visual Studio Code so we can see the generated files. Fire up Visual Studio Code. Click on the file menu and then select open folder. Select this folder which contains our project and then click this button, select folder. 
the Angular project structure and the files have not changed that much between Angular 5 and Angular 6. One change that I can point out at this time is the Angular CLI configuration file. Prior to Angular 6, the Angular CLI configuration file is called angular-cli.json. In this version of Angular, that is Angular 6, it is called just angular.json. As you can see, they knocked off dash CLI from the file name. It's not a simple file rename, even the file format is slightly different. In addition to this Angular CLI configuration file, in this generated project, we have several other files and folders. If you are new to these files and folders, please check out parts 7 and 8 of Angular CLI tutorial. In the project root folder, we have the source folder. This source folder contains the application source code, that is, the components, templates, services, styles, images, and anything else the application needs. Notice we also have some files outside of this SRC folder. These files are meant to support building, testing, maintaining, and deploying the Angular application. At the moment, the server is running in watch mode, and this message, Welcome to Angular 6 project, is coming from our root component, which is present in the app folder. Here is our component class. Notice the title property contains the message we see. Let's change this to Angular 6 project tutorial. When we save our changes, the server picks up the changes because it's running in watch mode, compiles them, and reloads the browser so we see the updated title, Angular 6 project tutorial. Finally, let's confirm this Angular project is using Angular version 6. For that, let's open package.json file. Notice here, all the Angular packages version is 6.1.0 and Angular CLI version is 6.1.2. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.